come to another calculator method on equation now we'll be looking at different things in this aspect or let me say in this episode now as time goes on you'll be seeing it now the first question says if alpha and beta this one is on the theory of quadratic equation so i'm going to teach you how to use calculator to solve quadratic equation and at the same time to find the uh the roots of the equation now the question says if alpha and beta are the roots of this equation 3x squared minus 5x plus 1 equals 0 we should find alpha squared minus alpha beta plus beta squared if alpha and beta are the roots so let us firstly go and check the roots we are talking about so press your mode you press your equation which is number five when you press your equation quadratic equation is number three quadratic equation is number three polynomial you know the one with the highest power of three that's number four but this number three is the one with the highest power of two and that's quadratic so press your three now you now press the coefficient here that means we have three we have equals to we have minus five you press equals to we have the last one is one you press equals to then press equals to you can see that the values here you have it to be the first one x1 one, which is 5 plus root 13 all over 6 then press equals to again we have x2 and x2 is equals to 5 minus root 13 all over 6 now there are some quadratic you are going to find that it will entails complex number and what's the complex number i now the only thing you just need to do is that if it's contained complex number i all you need to just do is that now after you found your x1 and x2 already and that means the first one is for alpha, second one is for beta. Some people can ask me a question, why do you choose this one as alpha, why do you choose this one as beta? You can choose any one of them to be alpha and the other to be beta. Just know that you take one to be alpha and the other to be beta. Then reset your calculator, take it out of quadratic equation. Now, you are, you are, we are going to save this as A and save the second one as B. You can see they resemble each other. Alpha resemble A and beta resemble B. So press the A here, which is 5, or better still, take your calculator to complex, that's 2. When you take calculator to complex, or you press the first one, that's 5, then my plus, plus root of, that's 13, root of 13, come to your denominator, we have 6. Now how do you save this as A? You press shift, RCL, and the button of A. And you can see that it's saved as A like that. The press AC, press the second one. So we save this as A. Second one, you now have B, 5, minus root of, that's 13. Come to your denominator, we have 6. You come to this place. Assuming you have I, when you solve this quadratic, you have I, you must take your calculator to be in complex like way we did. But if you, assuming that this one contains I, you are going to press this ING. It will give you I. But there's no i in this what you are pressing so you don't need to include i but i i'm giving you that based on another question now how will you save this as b you press shift and you press rc uh, and you press the button of b here as you can see there's a here there's b here c d you understand so now we've saved our the first one as a and second as b we now press ac you don't press on if you press on that's a big problem so we press ac after you press AC, you now come to your questions here. Question says alpha square. And our alpha is A. So I press alpha A here. Then square. Minus your alpha A again. Multiply by alpha B. You know, we save alpha as A and beta as B. Then plus alpha B. Then square. Press equals to. The answer is 16 over 9. Over 9. So the answer is A. 16 over 9. This is how to do the theory of quadratic equation question. Now, the second question says, if f of x is equal to this, we have to find f of 6. If f of x is this, what is f of 6? This question is very simple because all you need to just do is that you are given this to be f of x. So, you just substitute x to be 6. That's it. So, you just have it to be 2 into bracket 6 raised to the power 2 minus 4 into bracket 6 plus 5. That's what you are going to press. So anyway, you have x 
prepares it to be what? To be 6. Because f of 6, that's what you are asked to find. That will be 2 into bracket 6, plus bracket square, minus 4 into bracket 6, then plus 5. You can see the answer is what? It's 53. Now, the third question. The third question says, the polynomial is defined as f of x plus 1 is equal to this. What is f of 2? Now, this question is very, very... Uh, you, you need to be very, very careful for this type of question. Because you cannot just say, you know, we are asked to find f of 2. You cannot just insert your x to be 2. You know, if you insert your x to be 2, this equation will become 2 plus 1, that's 3. That's f of 3 you are solving. So the only case for us to have f of 2 in this question is to make our x to be 1. So therefore, it's now be f of 1 plus 1. If you check it, 1 plus 1 will give us 2 that we are looking for. So that means our x, you substitute x to be 1, so that the equation will be 1 plus 1. That, make, that will now give you the equation you are asked to find, which is 2. So that means our x is 1, which will be 1 raised to the power 3, plus 3 into bracket 1 raised to the power 2, minus 4 into bracket 1 plus 2. So assuming you make your x to be 2, you are not finding f of 2 like that. You are finding f of 3 because it should be 2 plus 1. That's 3. So you make your x to be 1 so that it will become f of 2. That will be 1 plus 1. So it's very, very important for you to note this because examiner normally use this to convince students based on the initial knowledge here. So this will now be into bracket 1, the raised to the power of 3, then plus 3 into bracket 1, raised to the power of 2, minus 4 into bracket 1, plus 2. Then what's the answer? The answer is 2. So our final answer here is 2. Then let's get to the fourth question here. The fourth question here says, we should find the remainder. Now this is how you find the remainder. They said, find the remainder when this is divided by x plus 1. Now, this is what you are going to use. Now, they said when this is divided by x plus 1. Now you are going to find your x from here. So you now say x plus 1 is equal to 0. You make this to be equal to 0. So once you make this to be equal to 0, what's our x? Our x is minus 1 because you take x, you take 1 to this side. So you make this, what they used to divide, you equate it to be equal to 0, then make x a sum of formula. So you take 1 to this side because what? Minus 1. So that minus 1, you are going to substitute that minus 1 in the equation given to you here. So that means you now have into brackets minus 1. So raised to power 3, then plus 2 into brackets, sorry, plus 2 into bracket minus 1, or raised to power 2, minus 13 into bracket minus 1, close bracket, you have minus 15. The press equals so the answer is minus 1. So the answer here is minus 1. That is how to solve this. So I've been able to cover some aspect on that equation, on that quadratic equation and polynomial. Now, the comment section, the question says, if alpha and beta are the roots of x squared minus 3x minus 2 equals 0, then find alpha plus beta over alpha beta. So, at the comment section, let me have the correct answer to this question. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share for other students to use as well. God bless you. Every student is our priority. God bless you. Thank you very much. Let me have the answer at the comment section.